Yes, let's roll our eyes and guffaw at the overly hyped fad diets called keto or carnivore, ketovore, you name it. It's just another diet that's not here to stay, right? If only that were true. You saw my title and unfortunately it's a fact. Carbohydrates are not actually an essential nutrient like how many erroneously tout that we need this for energy. Emotional, damn it! <laughs> Uh, are you still with me? Let's give those experts the benefit of the doubt that they were just misinformed. Terribly. Before you switch off to another higher carb channel because you don't want to hear that there's no such thing as an essential carbohydrate, let's see why I would say this. Have a good cry about it. I sure did. As a person coming from a culture that has rice as its main staple, you can bet it was a painful transition at first. Don't trust my word about it. I'll show the science that clearly states that carbohydrates are not essential to us and why this is very pertinent to autistic individuals. First, what is an essential nutrient? It is a nutrient required for normal body function that either cannot be made by the body or cannot be made in amounts adequate for good health and therefore must be provided by the diet. The following are essential nutrients stated by the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. The currently established human essential nutrients are water, energy, amino acids, essential fatty acids, vitamins, minerals, trace minerals, electrolytes, and ultra trace minerals. Note the absence of specific carbohydrates from the list. The point of this is our bodies can make glucose if needed, which is the main reason why carbs are not an essential nutrient. Food for thought, literally. There's deficiencies such as a protein deficiency, such as Quarshikor. There's fat deficiencies, such as EFA deficiency disease. However, there is no specific carbohydrate deficiency syndrome. So what does all this have to do with your autistic child? Well, it is stated in the literature that those with autism spectrum disorder, ADHD, ADD, dementia, Alzheimer's, etc. have insulin resistance in the brain. The body is unable to properly utilize glucose to convert into usable energy. The best form of energy for those who are unable to properly convert glucose to energy is ketones. The brain works optimally when in ketosis, as stated here by the Frontiers of Molecular Neuroscience. Ketones are actually the preferred energy substrate for the brain because they enter the brain in proportion to their plasma concentration irrespective of glucose availability. If the energy needs of the brain are being increasingly met by ketones, glucose uptake decreases accordingly. I'm not saying everyone should be in ketosis all the time, but for those who are metabolically challenged, this, this, this is not okay. This needs to stop now. It would make sense that a ketogenic diet, ketovore or carnivore diet would be optimal for those who have metabolic health issues. And I'm also not saying carbs are bad. And for those who are metabolically healthy, a bit of carbs isn't a problem. But many of us are, unfortunately, metabolically unhealthy and it wouldn't make sense to be on a diet where winter never comes. Overconsumption of processed carbs and sugars make us keep storing fat for energy, but we never tap into it. If the keto diet, ketovore or carnivore diet is too difficult, at least cut out the processed sugars and processed carbs as much as possible. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to help my channel grow. And I'll see you in the next one.